G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance with Mags and we are currently tracking our charlatan. Now, if you remember from the last episode, and apologies it's been so long since the last one, a few things have been keeping me tied up as I'm sure some of you know. And I'm not going to actually jump off the horse here. We might actually douse the light as well. Shh, puppy dog. So, if you remember from the last episode, the we were sent to see a charlatan about the brew for Sir Hans. Once again, the man just... I, this is going to all backfire, I can see it already, and it's going to be epic when it does. However, this guy wants us to apprentice to him, and I, I just don't want to do that. I, I have some self-respect, or at least my Henry has some self-respect. So... I also don't want to necessarily kill him, although I can most certainly do that right here. So I'm trying to track him and see exactly where he goes, and hopefully I'll be able to uh, snatch this brew out of wherever he's staying. I'm just not entirely sure where that's going to be. We just stripped all the armor off so we're all uh, in sneaky ninja mode again. Of course, the dog going up and sniffing his ass crack is... You really make things hard, don't you, dog? Alright, so it looks like he might, maybe, be going here. Where is he staying? Right, this seems to be his place. Alright, just giving him a second here to actually go to bed inside. I'm hoping he keeps a storage cabinet or something, rather than... Actually keeping it on him, because while my lockpicking skills are reasonably good, my stealth skills are very good, my, um, my pickpocketing ability is rubbish, to say the least. Right, so let's slow right down. What have we got in here? Now, I'm hoping he's in bed at the moment. Nothing of interest there. See, his personal effects are most likely going to be in the room that he's in. It's not on that bed. He's on that one. Okay. Dog, quit barking outside, please. Bludgeon, dress, slippers, working shirt, working boots. Great. We got another one over here. And one of these should carry his personal effects. Well, once again, just clothing. Oh, we've just got sacks. Could knock him out and then loot him. That'll prevent us from actually having to go for the kill, so that might be the go. Good night. Go to sleep now. Thank you. Alright, so what do we have? We have door key, Groshin, 
Musk of Infinite Lua recipe. Thank you very much. I will take... I'm not a total bastard. I'll take one of those. And I've already broken into your door and... Yeah, I'm not going to take your last groschen either. You'll wake up. You'll be fine. Alright, so... All things going to plan, he'll wake up in the morning, he'll find all of his stuff is there, that he still has his recipe on him. He... I wasn't actually intending to call the horse then. Um, he'll be wondering exactly why he's only got one copy of it instead of two, and that'll be the end of it. Uh, should probably start putting all of our gear back on. And then while we're at it, actually take a look and see what it actually takes to make this bloody thing. Everybody's moved on. Oh, looks like Brother Nicodemus is back. It's Nicodemus, is it? Yeah, Nicodemus. Alright, we've got the skill level for this one. Oh. Now, cave mushroom. Perfect. I'm going to have to take all of that. Sorry, brother. I could just use the alchemy bench here, though, couldn't I? Might be better lit over here. Yes, this is better lit. I can actually read this one. Okay, so the recipe for Musk of Infinite Allure. The potion that Sir Hans wants to take him even more irresistible than he already is. Uh, it's nothing for me. No, I don't really need. Prepare water. One handful each of sage, marigold, and comfrey, and a cave mushroom. God, this is a complex one. Grind the sage. Drop the sage in the cauldron and brew for three turns. Add the marigold and the comfrey and brew for one more turn. Then add the cave, cave mushroom, but do not cook. Cave mushroom, sage, marigold, and comfrey. Okay. Alright, so it's one sage. I'm going to mess this up, I swear. This is why I wanted extra ingredients, just in case. So prepare water and one handful of sage, marigold and comfrey, and the cave mushroom. Grind the sage. I can't sleep again. Nice. Right, so where is my sage? There it is. Yes, pick it up. Alright, so it's oh, it wants us to do the one thing. It's water first. Alright, so we gotta grind the sage. So it'll be mortar and pestle. I just can't. All right. So if we get this right, in the cauldron with you. And it's no distill. And the marigold and the comfrey going at the same time. Alright, I think we're good to go. So, let's start with the bellows. Let's 
That's one turn. Two turns done. One more turn. I can't sleep again. It doesn't say anything about cooling, so hopefully. Did we do it? A bite to eat. Yes, we got a Musk of Infinite Lua. Okay, that is it. Ah. Good morning, world. Uh, let's get all our armor back on before we go back out there. There we go. And we'll grab a bite to eat while we're here as well. Well, that was some dicking around. Just a little bit of dicking around. Alright, so next stop is... Back to Rate. Ah, oh, there you are. God bless you. What troubles you? Oh, for God's sake, you sent me off I to go get a potion, potion from there the it charlatan. Is. What charlatan? He's a man of learning who even cured the Pope of impotence. But thanks, Henry. I really appreciate your help. <laughs> Once I drink this potion, every woman will faint at my feet. But I'm only interested in one. The fairest creature on God's green earth. Yeah, the butcher's daughter, I know. And then what? A rendezvous. She and I, under the cloak of night. And you shall be my herald of exalted words. You will hide and prompt me from a book of poetry. I'll do oh what? God, no, no, Here's a book of no. Poems. I'll need a little time to get ready. Meanwhile, you can learn some poems off by heart. You'll prompt me. Learn poetry? Me? That sounds. Well, not exactly. Stop wasting time and get to it. Come back to me in a couple of hours. I have to get dressed up and groomed, and it'll take a while before the potion takes effect. See you later. Hey! I cannot wait to see this explode in his face. But why I'm here, where is it's not the bathmaid's bathhouse proprietor? God be with you. What can I do for you? Oh, I'm actually a bit banged up here at the moment. Let's use I'd the like bathhouse to, services. Uh, order something here. So what are you interested in? Still says it like a creep. Uh heal my moons, bath and laundry. Well, I've got no wounds, so... Get myself fixed up a bit. Have a bath and get my clothes washed. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. Eh, yeah, that looks a bit better. Now, I have somebody I need to go and see myself before we step onto the, uh, the next part of this. I haven't actually seen Teresa in yeah. a while, so I'm curious in exactly what this, uh, what the next part here is. Is there going to be any story, or...? And there's a woman who rejected my marriage proposal. <laughs> I could hear you rattling a mile off in that armour. 
And I've got to take the helm off. That's all right. Um... Wouldn't you like to take a stroll somewhere? I'd love to. Oh, the last time we went to the pub, I wound up in a punch room. There's something I ought to tell you. What is it? What's troubling you? Ah! I'm not quite sure how to tell you, so I'll just spit it out. So Radzig Kobola is... my father. <laughs> and King Wenceslas is my cousin. You really had me going. No, I'm serious. What? But... Henry, how on earth could... I know. It was a shock for me, too. It turns out Sir Radzig and my mother had some... romance. Of course, he couldn't marry a commoner. And your father? I mean, the blacksmith. God, that sounds so odd. I mean, Martin. He knew Sir Radzig from way back. Martin... Pa married her before I was born. To protect her reputation. And raised me as his own. And Sir Radzig allowed it? Sure. Actually, I get a feeling the whole thing was agreed between them. Sir Radzig was glad she wasn't left alone with a child. My God, Henry. That's just... And what will that mean for you? Mm. I honestly don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Well, it all depends on Sir Radzig, doesn't it? As his illegitimate son, I don't have any rights as such. No, it's not like I've suddenly become a noble like Capon. And even though Sir Radzik has publicly acknowledged me, well, sort of, it hasn't really changed anything. And if Sir Radzik decided to make a real noble of you, would you want that? Oh, now that's a tough question. Uh, this Henry wouldn't want to be a noble. I wouldn't. And it's never going to happen anyway. Why not? A bastard remains a bastard. Even if Sir Radzig never had another heir, all his property would go to the king by rights. You might be right, but can't you imagine it? Would you... Would you still care for me, a common mill maid, if you were a nobleman? Who else is going to give me my connection to the thieves? Of course. I'll always be fond of you. Nothing will change that. I remember that. I hope you won't regret those words. No fear of that. Okay, so that's after the Radzig I'm reveal. I'd like There's always little bits of story that are hidden through these, which is why I needed to do these a hell of a lot more often. Although, it's a lot less punch on in that one. I must go, Henry. Take care. Okay. Well, that's that one done. Now, I have to go and learn poetry, which means I'm going to have to find a place to sit down and actually do a yeah. little bit of reading. Alright. So before we go and learn this poetry, we do have another quest that we do need to drop in. We're going to get this horse fall drive. Ah, Taking took care, care of, the, of camp. the camp. Where's the proof? Here it is. Good work. 
I've heard about another encampment. It seems it's somewhere near the stream that flows down from Neuhof. Understood. Okay, so we've got another one. Wonder where that one is. Ah, up here. Can we fit that in before hands is good? Yeah, you know what? We haven't killed anybody today. So if we take this path here... We... Oh, actually, no, that's the cliff. So how will we get around? If we follow this road up, we can cut through. And that'll work. All right. Yeah. Let's go fix up this bandit leader. Yeah. Okay. So what do we have here? Now the guy's in yellow. Get back, you guys. I'm guessing the guys in yellow are going to be. Yep, he's down. Yep, they look like guards. Yep, cool. Alright. Alright, bandits. And bandit. And that was only yeah, okay, that was the only two. We're actually not far off the camp. Um it might be best get the horse to come down here a bit, but we might uh actually start making our way in a bit independent of the horse at this point. So unknowns through there. I'm guessing it's going to be on the curve of the riverbank is going to be the camp. Those guys on the road could have been a scout, maybe. Possibly just a random encounter that happens uh, happens to spawn at that point, but they could have been a uh, a group of scouts or an ambush. That looks like ruins, maybe. Alright. Oh, they're more over here still. Ah, oh, there they are. You can fuck off. Whatever you say. When I get the cut who stole it off me, I'll smash his face to fucking pop. Charming. What's that? It's nothing. Ignore me. Hey, who's that? Who's that? Oh. Dog took him down. Hey! All of you! Gather here! You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Oof. Alright. Bow away. Is that all? Rise! Well, that was easy. Oi, 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 get back here. Stop. Hey, all of you gather here. Raise the alarm. Hey, who's there? Who's there? Hi. How are you doing here? Side of life, are you? Gone with. Hey, all of you gather here. What's up? Shit yourself. 
Raise it up! Watch out! Hey. Jesus Christ! Hey, who's there? Who's there? The answer to my prayers. Is that all you Just when I wanted to vent my rage on someone. I know that feeling. I'll swallow you. This is a pain in the ass hillside to actually stand on. Alright, now where did all the bodies go? Because I gotta collect all the ears. Alright, I think I've actually managed to get them all now. Well, no. We missed one. Somehow, he wasn't alerted. that around at the wrong time. Come back here, come on. You can stop now. Alright, that works. That's what I'm after. Completely empty. I feel ripped off. Ah, well, that is the bandit camp cleared, so now we can head back in. We can turn this one in as well. We'll probably get another one of these. Gold goblets on these guys. Silver ring too, that's actually worth a bit. At least they're nice and light. Ah, there you are. So maybe we can turn it in now anyway. Greetings. Yep, there we go. We're taking care of the camp. 
Where's the proof? Here it is. Good work. And that's not all. There's some trouble on the road to Sassau. There's most likely another camp thereabouts. All right, I'll take a look around. God be with you. God, I should have done these ages ago. All right, so while we're at it, you know, have trophies. Some, uh, trophies. Let's see. Quite a collection. My boy, you're God's own avenging angel. Okay. God be with you. There's only 11 of them. I've killed more than that, I just haven't been collecting the ears. Anyways, I suppose I could have sat back there and had a bit of a read, but we'll go down to the pub, because it's only just down the road, and have a little bit of a read of this poetry book like we were meant to before, and then we should be able to work out how exactly we're going to help Hans if he's even ready to go. Alright, so I did a little reading. I think I've memorized enough of the poems, and I've taken a few notes just to jog my memory, if is necessary. And then we came back, he'd have a bit of a rest, because Henry was just about knackered. So, hopefully, Hans seems to be ready now. Maybe. Ready, Sir Hans. Henry, something... something's gone wrong. Open up. I'm not going to talk to the door. Okay. That potion tasted rather odd, and now I have a feeling my face is broken out. How do I look? Um. You're imagining. You're imagining it, it sir. You look as irresistible as ever. It's got more. <laughs> but I feel as if I just fell face first into a nettle patch. Well, you're just a little flushed from the excitement. It'll pass. If you're sure. So, what do you think? Can we go to the <laughs> Such rendezvous? A prick. Why wait? Carolina won't be able to resist you. All right, then. Lead on, heart. And you, Henry, follow me. I could do with... And two with the butt to eat, yeah. Not of what he had. Actually... We're going to be going downstairs. Probably going to be going for a ride somewhere. I can get past you. And quickly run downstairs, get to the kitchen. And... Uh, uh, wrong side. The kitchen is... No. I shot the ki kitchen access on the ground floor. Or was it this one? Alright, go back to Sir Hans. I'm waiting for you, asshole. Come on. Alright, so we're walking, we're riding, what are we doing? Tell me, Henry, how many girls have you had in your life? If you've had any at all, that is. Well, there's been a few, but I'm sure I can't compare with you. Ha! <laughs> Very true. One day, plays will be written about my amorous adventures. Comedies or tragedies? That might depend on how things go tonight. Well, slowly, if this walk is any indication. You know, we, we had horses, like, right back there, mate. We could have just jumped on those. We'd have been there in, like, five minutes, wherever we're going. Come on. There's another very pretty girl living in this house here, but she's already got a suitor. Since when has that ever bothered you? Since the time her fellow threw me headfirst into a dung heap and kicked my ass for good measure. It seems your future subjects don't hesitate to take a stick to you when it comes to minding the women folk. I doubt he would have done it if he recognised me. I was, um, incognito. I'm... Curious how in a town this small that would work.
We're almost there. You'll hide behind a gravestone or in the bushes and don't budge from there. Otherwise, you might scare her off. Great. Hide, Henry. Time to get started. How do you know it's her who will come out and not someone else? She got the letter and necklace, didn't she? She knows that I'm... That is, her secret admirer is coming. And what am I supposed to do? What do you think, Dalt? Prompt me from that book of poetry. Who's there? I can't see you. Your most ardent admirer, fair maid. Aha. Uh -huh. And do you have a name? What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other name would... would still be a... Flower, wouldn't it? <laughs> Start. How? All right, so how's this going to go? What are you saying? I can't hear you. Um, Gentle Knight Gentle was the Knight first one. On. I yearn thus for my love so long. Without her words to still my breast, who shall set my soul to rest? Gentle knight, why linger on? I earned this from my love so long. Whip out your worthy silky breasts. <laughs> who shall suck my salty bits? <laughs> no! Um, all right. Uh... Okay. And now my heart in sorrow dwells from melancholic pining swells since I, alas, was forced to part from the mistress of my heart. I know my horses sort of well. Some alcohol from nine to twelve. Seems I always have whores apart from the mistress of my heart. Psst. What on earth are you saying? What's that hissing? It's a, a feral goose here in the bushes. Um. Ah, Lord, let me not wait in vain. I long to see my love again. Oh, gentle sir, be of good cheer. I shall not cling to another, dear. Landlord, let me not wait in vain. I long to sing and laugh again. Oh, gentle sir, get off your chair. I shall not bring you another beer. Jesus, Henry, what kind of yokel nonsense are you babbling? Me? You're the one who's babbling. You're an odd one. I've never heard such peculiar poetry in my life. Where on earth did you come up with it? Um, <laughs> by the French. It's, it's the latest fashion in France. You've done enough harm. Better shut up and leave it to me. How did you like it, dearest? Ah, how tender you are. Father is coming! Hide! Oh, it's that you. If it's not Danny again, I'll gut with my ferreting knife. I didn't hear anyone. Did you hear what he said? Yeah. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this, Hans. I think we should... Are you still there? Still here, my love. How could I have apart from you? Father's coming! He'll kill you! He will not. Because it'll never cross his mind where I'll be. Henry, it's time for me to claim my prize. Whatever happens, cover my back. There you are, you seducer. Now you'll see how a butcher protects his daughter's honor. Buy me time. You got some explaining to do, you bastard. Oh, great. Thanks, Hans. All right. Um. What are you after, you bastard, sneaking around an honest citizen's house in the dark? Uh, I went to mourn over the grave of my great-grandmother. Oh, yeah. Then what are you doing right beneath my window, eh? Well, the question is, why are you trampling on great-granny's grave, eh? Enough of your horse shit. One more word, and I'll have you. <laughs> you really came. 
How could I not, my dearest? <laughs> not so fast, Prince Charming. But no. oh. you're here. Be hey, quicker. What was that? What was what? That noise. I'm sure I heard a strange noise. We're here in the cemetery. Maybe restless spirits, what do you reckon? I'd swear it came from the window of my own house. Well, what's that got to do with me? Someone's been creeping around after my daughter. I come out and I find you here. Quite a coincidence, eh? So, out with the truth. You're quite mistaken. I've never laid eyes on your daughter. And if she looks anything like you, I'd rather keep it that way. Why, you fucking... Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, 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 there's... There's a lace here. Oh, untie it. Oh. Don't try to make a fool of me. I heard it clearly. What was that? Uh, are you alright? It seems to me you're hearing things other folk can't hear. That's not good. You're saying I'm hearing voices in my head? Well, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Sent Euphrosine of Palotsk heard voices too, and she found in a monastery and churches and things. I heard voices too. Uh, well, could have been voices. I wouldn't swear to it though. Look, fellas, I was standing right here and I didn't hear a thing. Do you take me for a madman? Whatever you are, I want to know what you're doing under my daughter's window and who was talking to her. I heard it clear as day. Um. Good neighbour, it can't be denied that old age dulls a man. I'm winning all the speech checks here, so I'm just I'm going for the alone, speech checks. Praying for the souls of the good people resting in the cemetery. I've nothing to do with your daughter. Hmm, that voice sounded different to yours, though. But where did he get to? You must have seen him. Unless, unless you're covering for him. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, oh, Christ almighty. It's haunted here. I knew I should never have come near this cemetery at night. The only one doing any haunting here is you. And I've done wasting time with you. I'll beat you to a pulp, and then that other bastard. You'll get the hiding of your life. <sighs> Alright. Show what you... Oh. <laughs> Again. Getting into punch-ons with guys in plate armor. Although, you are actually beating me down. You got a fairly good right hook on you. Looks like Hans has managed to get his freak on. Guards are just walking past. This is perfectly fine, perfectly normal. You must be up to no good sneaking around in the dark. Oh, sorry, sir. I'll put the light on for you. My apologies. Time to go see what Hans has got to say. Or, you know, tie him to the back of my horse and ride him through town after he yeah. left me for that. Alright, time to go and find out exactly what this bastard got up to. Oh, hey, Dad. You, you might get another way, thank you. Crap. 
Get up, you turd. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? How did it go with Carolina Sands? Henry, it was the most wonderful night of my life. She was completely entranced by my courting. I hardly had to touch her, and she melted in my arms. And then she took me to paradise. It was glorious. It was sublime. Thanks, in part, to you, my faithful henchman and messenger of love. You've earned your reward. It was an honour, Sir Hans. When are you going to see her again? Oh, I'm not going to see her again. All beautiful things must come to an end. <laughs> but that's how it ends, with the love Oops. of your life. After the secret gifts, the letters, the intrigues, reciting poetry in the moonlight. My eloquence was wasted on her, Henry. Imagine, the silly cow couldn't even read. She returned the letter to me unopened. Here's the letter, Henry. Read it. At least you're capable of appreciating my literary talent. Read and learn from a poet. God be with you. Oh, now you've got all your shiny armour on, so I assume you're heading back to the point so we can actually end the game, although now I'm not so keen to actually go there. We've got to go and uh, have a polite word with somebody else first. Okay, what's this? And well, I'm sure we can come to some agreement, your lordship. Well, bearing in mind, Master Butcher, that we have nothing to come to agreement about yet. Well, yes, sir. Uh, well, I mean, no, sir. Well, I mean, I thought I ought to let you know what happened. Like, uh, my daughter's good name could be besmirked, besmirked, well, dragged through the mud. Uh, and his young lordship's too, of course. Well, only if she should find us. Only if she should find herself with a permanent reminder. Oh, well, that could happen yet, sir, couldn't it? I mean, if her belly starts to grow, you know how word gets around, and, well, folk would assume that Sir Hans is the father, even if some other young fellow was to come along in the meanwhile, and, well, you know, uh, and we already know, the girl can't be watched. Are you trying to blackmail me? Have you forgotten that I am the lord of this town? And that you are nothing but a stinking butcher. Oh, God forbid, <laughs> sir. I, I'm just thinking of his young lordship's reputation and my girls. But, uh, of course, if his young lordship was to recognize the bastard as his own and pay for his upbringing. You can thank your lucky stars you're the only butcher around here. Otherwise, I'd have you out on your ear this very day. But, sir, I'm only to... Here, take this, you damn scoundrel, and never show your face here again. Oh, thank you, Your Lordship. I, I'm sure this will be enough. Thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. Blasted fool cape on. I'll wring his neck. Neck. I'll have his balls on a platter! <laughs> I think I'm going to end that one there. Till next time, guys. Take care.